First and foremost, people that have not flown it yet uh, tend to have a, a great deal of misconception about what it is and what's available. Uh, everyone seems to understand that it gives you glide slopes for non-precision approaches and kind of leave it at that uh, without any real understanding about obstruction clearances and the wide variety of uh, glide slopes that it presents you under different scenarios and how you're going to utilize those, when you would expect to see those, when you would not expect to see those, and why. Uh, and the people that have flown the WAS already tend to have a pretty basic understanding of those sorts of things, but come at me with more of the, it's amazing technology and I'm having a lot of fun and it really works great when I understand it. But I got it, I got three hours of training in the airplane on the day that I got it, where we did five or six approaches and the instructor waved goodbye and now I'm on my own to learn you know, what are quite literally thousands of variations. First of all, the most appropriate training is just a very quickie sort of a ground school, um, you know, just a one-on-one -on -one with the instructor of talking about what it is that's been installed in the airplane, what's different, and what, what we expect to see when we go out and fly, okay, with maybe a, a mild introduction to some approach plates. And then go out and fly some approaches, show it to the two of them in the airplane so that they get that visual connection in their brain, then bring them back and do a seminar like mine where you spend a whole day talking about all of the variations and the nuances, but you do it with that foundation. You know, you can come and take a seminar like this with no foundation at all. As a non-instrument rated pilot, and I've even had a few non-instrument rated pilots show up uh, who are working on their instrument rating and tell me that, well, it was a great IFR review for a lot of the other stuff that's incorporated into it. But far and away, the people that I get the most positive comments are from are the ones that have just a little bit of WAS experience. or or have a fair amount of it but with no real training in it. And then they come in and say, wow, you know, I've seen all of these things happen in the airplane and I never understood why they happened. And now, all of a sudden I have all this understanding of why all these things happen and it makes me want to go out and do five or six more approaches so that I can really, you know, make all of it solidify at the end and say, wow, you know, it really works. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.